Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about a pattern that I've just made up, which is Simplicity 1354, their amazing fit range. Um, and basically what it means is you can choose your cup size um, and then they have different bodice pieces for your different cup size. And as I've made something else, I will then post again on this channel. So I want to try and do it regularly just to, so I can then improve my wardrobe and improve my sewing skills as well. Anyway, on to the pattern how to stitch here so we've got the side fronts have stitched onto the front um, and then I need to that's the skirt part the skirts in two pieces so you have the front attached to the front then the back attached to the back and then I'm guessing then the side seam connects them both I haven't read that far ahead yet but that's the gathering so you gather the skirt and then attach it to the front there we go so I have put, I've stay stitched the front, so I've put some loose basting stitches in here just to keep it from stretching out, so that will be obviously on the inside or in the seams, so you won't see that, but yeah, so these are the front two bits, and then I've just attached the side bits here, so I need to see if that is too big or not before I then put the skirt onto the bottom and then do the back bit so I'm going to need to just check that on myself before I do any more stitching okay this has taken me oh ages I'll say ages to figure out how I pin this because it said put them right sides together so I think it goes like that and then that one will go up and then they get stitched together to form the back band I could not figure this out at all, it just wasn't obvious. But there's three little buttons which attach at the back band and I didn't realise this because I didn't really read it that closely I suppose but it doesn't really show up because it's on a pattern fabric on the pattern envelope. Only when I came to sew I thought how does this go together and then I was like oh I've now got to sew buttons on it so it was okay it was fine and actually then I realised I can get the dress on and off by just undoing the zip and I once those buttons are, do are done up you don't have to undo them and do them up every time because that was one big concern like trying to stretch on the back and try to get them done up but it's fine you just do them once you sew them in and that's it i then pin the loops on and just stitch over with a long stitch on the edges to keep them in place i'm adding a lining it doesn't say add a lining to this dress but i found it really odd to not have a lining because it's really see-through and then you see all of the cottons and everything so anyway I've cut out the bodice in just like a poly cotton lining fabric and I've stitched it this is the back so I've stitched it together and you'll see if I flip it over there we go this is looking at it from the inside and this will be the back of the dress what I like what I'm going to do is I'm going to un because I could use an iron just to press this out. There's always a chance that the back is going to roll, roll, and then you'll see that as I've used a dark navy, um, you'll see it. So I'm going to understitch, um, and if you don't know what that is, I'll show you. So here we are. I've got the seam. I've already stitched it, so it's attached. So I'm stitching slightly to the side of it. And that I'm stitching on the side which is going to be where the lining is on the inside. So I stitch all the way down and then when I flip it over it sits nice and flat. So I'll show you when I've done. So I put my stitching in. And there it needs an iron um, but it helps it just to sit flatter when you've got the lining so it stops it from rolling out. No, I shortened the bodice by an inch for a petite because I'm a five foot three and then the back was still really low. I've raised I sewed it up another inch. I couldn't take it in anymore because then it would just make the bodice too tight because I didn't realise until after I'd cut all the fabric out that actually it was quite low at the back. So hopefully with this adapter for my bra it will be okay. I thought I would just show you the back of the dress because I'm not sure how clear it is on the photos. So I'm just gonna whiz around, but you have to excuse me, I have got a nude bra on. But you can see it poking out, especially at the back, which that will be sorted before I wear it out in public. But like I said in my previous clip, I'm just waiting for the adapter to come through. 
So this is the back of the dress and you can see the buttons here and they are the buttons which you don't have to do up. Um, you do them once um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you back soon with my next make. Um, you can find me on Instagram as Halesmore7 or Twitter as just Halesmore and I will see you again on this channel soon. Thanks, bye!